what's up guys ksk here welcome to this video this is the first look at azurin os 16 beta now in this video i'm going to talk everything about azurin os 2021 so what's new in azurin os 16 azurin os 16 is based on ubuntu lts 2004 if you are coming from an older version of Zorin OS, you may find a lot of changes in terms of a newly added features and performance. Let's dive into the top features of Zorin OS 16. The moment you land inside Zorin OS 16, it will present you with the brand new welcome screen. The new tour is the best place to learn your way around Zorin OS. The welcome screen guides the user through the basics of how to use and customize the desktop, connect to online accounts, link your phone with your computer using a Zorin Connect, and install the software you need to work and play. It's the most welcoming way to go from a newbie to Zorin OS Pro and set up the desktop to work best for you. With Azorin OS 16, the user interface has been a tweaked much better that gives a refreshed look. It comes with a revamped appearance with a well-polished built-in theme that looks easier to the eyes. The team of Zorin OS has primarily focused on the light theme which looks different from the previous versions. The all-new light theme is so refined, take a look at the bottom. The dock with a light theme easily adapts with any wallpaper and kind of reminds a Windows 10 look. Now all the applications with a light theme look much better. Now, even the dark theme looks decent in the night times and you may love it for sure. Now, Zorin OS 16 it brings a new artwork and a desktop wallpapers. Now, these are some of the brand new wallpapers which comes preloaded out of the box and it looks fantastic. The built-in dynamic wallpapers change the look based on the theme and time. Zorin Appearance is a place where you can choose the desktop layouts, change the themes, fonts, animations, and more. With Zorin OS 16, the Zorin Appearance setting has been easier to quickly get the things done. Now, using a layout section, any user can change the look of their desktop. Now, by default, the core edition has only four desktop layouts. With Ultimate Edition, Zorin OS 16 comes with a brand new layout called Windows 10X. Yes, it's a clone layout of all new upcoming Windows 11 or 10X that can be added in the stable release. Now, unfortunately, I'm running a public beta and I cannot find this feature, but still, this is the screenshot of the new layout which is going to be added soon. One of the biggest refinements of Zorin OS 16 is the Jelly Mode. Now inside the interface under the Zorin appearance, there is an option called a Jelly Mode. Now enabling this toggle turns on the Jelly Mode, meaning whenever you are dragging the window manager across the desktop, you can see this beautiful jelly kind of animation. Now even minimizing the application or maximizing the window to the taskbar it brings a new animation or transition effect. It kind of reminds the genie effect of Mac OS. Now, Zorin OS 16 is now a more customizable with the help of a new taskbar settings and panels. Right-clicking on the taskbar, it brings up a menu sheet that shows a way to quickly jump around the setting and customize the desktop. 
For example, you can lock the taskbar and even you can use the taskbar settings to customize the style, position, behavior, and actions. You can change the panel size and position. The other taskbar settings let the user quickly jump around the UI and customize it according to the taste. Thanks to the addition of a flat hub repository in Zorin OS 16 that lets you install any application with one simple click. Now, Flatpak is a special package management system that has simplified the way of installing applications in any Linux distro. No matter whichever distro you have, Flatpak uses a flat hub repository by default, which has a huge collection of applications and games from many independent developers, as well as a software that can be downloaded directly from big vendors like Spotify, Zoom, and more. With the addition of your flat hub in Zorin OS 16, along with the Snap Store and the Ubuntu and Zorin OS 16 repositories, I would say this is a boon for users to install any application or package hassle-free. The team of Zorin has bought a new sound recorder application that supports recording any audio in few formats. Now, this application provides a simple and beautiful way to record audio and speech and play it back. Whether you're using it for voice memos or podcasts, the sound recorder application adapts to your workflow and makes recording audio effortless. And these are some of the top features of Zorin OS 16. Now, other features include a better fingerprint management support for laptops, fractional scaling for high-resolution displays, new photos application, flicker-free boot animation on a newer hardware, improved support for the hardware, and more. Now, overall, I would say Zorin OS 16 is the fantastic release of 2021. With the addition of hundreds of new features and improvements, Zorin OS 16 is going to rock the Linux community. Since it's based on Ubuntu LTS, this is going to be supported for the next five years with a software updates and security patches. And that's pretty much it guys. What do you think about Azurian OS 16? And uh, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button down there, subscribe, consider hitting the bell icon. And uh, one more time, thanks for watching this video. I will see you next time.